Eksaktong isang taon ang nakalipas nang matalo ang batang may alias na The Dreamer laban sa kapwa Pinoy na si Jimel Magramo. Nakataya nga sa kanilang laban ang bakanting belt ng Oriental and Pacific Boxing Federation flyweight title. At sa mga nakaraang buwan lang, ay umakyat na sa timbang ang ating kababayan sa Super Flyweight Division. At dito nga naimbitahan ang Pinoy sa South Africa para lumaban. Sa kabilang banda mga bay, ay kampiyon sa South Africa ang susunod na magkakalaban ng ating kababayan at may alias nga ang Afrikanong ito na man down. Sa isang kaganapan na binuo sa South Africa noong October 23, 2022, ay tatlong Pinoy ang lumaban at main event si J. Arakinel. Ang makakalaban ng Pinoy mga bay ay ang South African champion na si Landy Nagsik at may malinis na kartada itong 9 wins with 4 knockouts at may isang draw. Habang ang Pinoy naman na si J. Arakinel ay may kartadang 12 wins with 9 knockouts na may dalawang talo at isang tabla. Dayo man ang Pinoy sa duwelong ito ay walang kaba at pag-alinlangan sa kanyang mga galaw kahit na undefeated ang kanyang kaharap. Sa katunayan pa nga rito ay parang ang Aprikano ang kinakabahan mga bay sapagkat alam nito sa labing dalawang panalo ng Pinoy ay tatlo lang ang hindi na knockout. Not a knockdown. Brian Southpaw versus the Southpaw Dogs, and much significantly taller than his opponent. And it's a good showing. Thing that we know, Brian is actually not here to fight. He's not here to fight. And there's uh, Rapino. Well, we saw Navas oh. fight. We saw Filipino work. Ah, well, he's catching oh. the South African Brian. These are big, big punches coming from uh, Rapinel. And he's a South Pole. He is definitely hitting Nike. Yeah, Nike, Nike doesn't like it. And I'm looking at his body, Brian. He looks dry, so he might not maybe be still, uh, didn't have a good warm-up. I can hardly see any sweat on, uh, on his body, the South African, Nike. So maybe he's been caught cold in the first round. Well, we saw that earlier on as well, Pitwe. A young man was cold and he warmed up and he still got knocked out. Raquinel, it's not holding anything back, Ryan. This is over 12 rounds. It is for the vacant uh, WBO International. Uh, junior Bantamweight over 12 runs and also the Brian Junior Pan Bantamweight these guys look too big for, for Junior Bantamweight they look pretty big uh, big. they really look big for the it's amazing how big the guys are today in this weight division in this weight division yes now Mike now starting to uh, come out of his shell now he was shaking at the beginning of the round But Jay Aris showed that he's come to fight, there's no doubt about that. Uh, and he's not also waiting to worry about now the rounds, uh, 12 rounds. He says, I don't care 12 rounds or not, I'm going to start very, very fast. And yeah, that round's good. Well, round number two of the final bout of the afternoon. Look at that nice left uppercut there from Rapinel. Followed by right hand. Can you guys hear me properly? Because I can't hear myself. Look at that. Mabibigat ang pinapakawalang suntok ni Rakinel sa nagdaang round mga bay at ramdam agad ito ng undefeated na Afrikano. Sa katunayan mga bay, biglang nag-iba ang depensa ng kalaban at talagang dinedepensahan ito ng maigi ang kanyang kanang panga para masangga ang kalibang suntok ng ating pambato. But one thing I can tell you, Brian, this fight here is not going to be the last fight now where it was a bit quiet now for the first six rounds. 
the Filipino Rakunele. They are Rikunele. winning the first round. Definitely won the first round, right? And now uh, Mike is trying to come back into the quiet now, hoping to win the round number two. He cannot afford to win the two, the first two opening rounds in a row. Well, he even looks the part. I must say, he looks very well conditioned, very focused. Is JR. Ranakile. Well, fit. Oh, oh, oh. Wow! Napakalupit ng kombinasyon na yun, mga bay. Sa lakas ng suntok na yun, ay bumagsak ang kalaban na tuwid pa ang mga tuhod. Agarang namang nakabango ng kalaban at nalampasan ang bilang ng referee. Very, very, very Sinubukan pa ng referee na gumawa ng iksina para salbahin ang Afrikano, subalit sa pagsugod ni Rakinil ay itinigil agad ng referee ang laban dahil hindi na sumusuntok at umiilag ang Afrikano. Hindi naman naging kritikal ang kondisyon ng kalaban pagkatapos ng fight mga bay pero random ko kung gaano ito nahilo mula nang siya ay bumagsak at ang pagkahilong iyon ay dala-dala pa rin niya kahit na siya ay nakaupo na. That the foreigners come out here and they get a fair deal firstly in the last fight, yes, which wins yes. the distance. And what well, obviously this guy just won in style. This he won in style, uh, Brian. He won in style. Yes. And congratulations to these guys for coming out uh, to win from the Philippines. Yeah, but I could have and, seen. And, and Sandy for Landili uh, losing his first fight. That's right. Yeah, nine KOs in and 15, 15 fights. 12 Hindi pa rin mawalay ang galak na aking naramdaman sa ginawa ni Kabayan mga bay. Kaya muli nating balikan ang highlights ng kanyang malupit na kombinasyon. Brilliant left hand. Like we say, a southpaw gets knocked out by a right hand. A right, yes. And an orthodox fighter gets knocked out by left hand. By left hand. Thing. Boom, left hand on the button, on the money. My Light goodness. Cut. Daghang salamat mga bay at hanggang sa dulo ay hindi pa rin kayo bumibitaw. Nais ko pong malaman ang inyong reaksyon sa ating video. Pakicomment na lang po sa baba at babasahin po natin yan. Daghang salamat, mabuhay tayong lahat.